Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here. Thank you for watching my tutorial. So, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make uh, like this. Let me show you. Let me demonstrate. So, whenever you press a certain key, okay, so I'm going to press 1. Bang, I pressed 1. I get a sword, and as you can see, uh, I have a customized backpack. Uh, I have my running animation, but I have a custom backpack that shows, if you press 1, it's it's kind of like the normal backpack, but I uh, disabled the normal back the default backpack so I can override with this one. So if you press one, you get uh, the link sword. If you press two, you get this is a free model, of course. It's really cool. Uh, now I don't know if you guys would want a tutorial on the camera, how the camera is. As you can see, I can kind of rotate like this, and then. Whenever you go left, right, back. Yeah. I don't know if you guys want a tutorial. It's pretty simple. But I like how whenever you like swing the sword, your camera kind of moves. It's really cool. But that's just with that sword. But anyways. So to do this tutorial, to successfully succeed on this tutorial, you do not need this backpack. Like I could, I could watch. I could take this script, put it in starter GUI, remove this. Oh, well, actually, I got to. I'm gonna have to go inside my player, player GUI, backpack, put the local script in there, remove this. I can have it still work the same, just with the local script. I don't. We don't have to have the backpack. It's just the backpack is just to help us. It it adds detail to the game. Okay, so and you you people will know what to press, like. As you can see, we have a picture in this. Uh, we have a picture showing us what we what we can get. Press tool. Yeah. Take out the fire. Sculpt. You know, I have tutorials on all this. Take out the fire. You can sculpt stuff. And then light switch, which you got to be up close. And we have the trees over there. Anyways, I'm kind of wasting time, but I'm just letting you guys know what's up. So if you do want to do the backpack tutorial, uh, the back. If you do want the backpack. I made a tutorial on <clears throat> the new GUI constraints. Now, in that tutorial, I was not sure on what kind of GUI to make to sh to show you guys how to mess with the constraints. So I ended up making like a backpack. Now, the backpack didn't look exactly like this, but it was kind of like this. You know how everything's set up, and yeah. So <clears throat> the backpack, you can go watch that tutorial if you wanna have a backpack. But remember you don't need a backpack you can do it without the customized backpack but on that tutorial I might be making uh... I might be making a uh, second tutorial on making like an inventory where tools save and stuff I'm not too sure on what I'm gonna do but anyways I'm gonna go over um... this with the backpack and without the backpack uh... it's very very simple so Okay, as you can see, if you have the backpack, uh, you can put the script inside the backpack just so there's not so many scripts in like starter GUI where you can see all this. You could just store it in backpack. But if you you don't you don't you can just take this uh, your local script that we're gonna be making and just put it in starter GUI. It does not matter. It's gonna work the same both ways. Um, I'm just gonna leave it in a backpack so uh, you know so your local script just right click on uh, right click uh, oh right click on starter GUI insert object the uh, screen GUI which I have mine which is right here and then right click insert object and look for a local script it's right here I already have mine now I'm gonna exit out the script I'm gonna cut everything out whoops control X so I cut everything <clears throat> Now, just name it equipped, and as you can see, there's no other scripts in here. There's no there's no scripts in the buttons either. The buttons are not scripted. It's just user input service. Anyways, so uh, remember, you guys don't need the backpack. Um, but anyways, local player equals game dot players. We need to access the player, uh, so we can uh get the character so now we need to get the character so local we're let's just shorten it up and do char so local char equals player dot char now let's get uh... 
Oh, um, also I forgot, guys. What you guys will need is, <clears throat> uh, you're gonna need some weapons. So I don't know what kind of guy, what kind of weapons, <laughs> what kind of guys. I don't know what kind of weapons you guys are gonna want, but I use this sword and I use the link sword. So what you do whenever you get all your weapons, it can be whatever weapon, really. It can actually be whatever tool. Let's say that whatever tool. Um, and then whatever tools or weapons you get, just put it in starter pack. Just put it in there. Um, now, uh, let me just say one more thing about the backpack GY. Uh, now, to get the images, because if you go watch that other tutorial, to get the images, inside the button, there, uh, just insert an image label by right-clicking on button 1, insert, and then find image label. And then go down change the background transparency to one and then change the image ID the image to the image you want now to find the image you just go on Roblox and just go to the just go to the like the decal so right here you know you go to inventory hmm no internet connection that's weird Uh, okay. Well, anyways, you go to Roblox, go to inventory, and then you go to decals. You'll you you should see decals, and you'll get taken to a page, and then uh. Okay, I'm kind of laggy. All right. Uh, and then you just search for like the what kind of decal you want. Like you just put the weapon name in. <clears throat> All right. And yeah, you just put the ID in there. Uh, I think I think I'm saying it right. Anyways, yeah, just find your ID. All right. So for user input service, I thought my headset went off. Uh, then let's find game, get service user input service all right interact with your key you can interact with your keyboard and make input uh to the client if that makes sense or send input anyways so let's do uis dot input began so input began is a event of user input service and then we'll have a uh, parameter of input so let's check if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code dot uh, one because one is the number uh, make sure it's not the number one make sure it's spelt out like I have right here spelt out then uh, we need to make a debounce. So debounces are kind of hard to explain. So let's just do it. Uh, I don't know why I put if local um, local. Uh, let's just do uh, equipped equipped equals false because we did not equip it. Now we're going to check if equipped is equal to false, which it should be because it's the variable is set to false over here, so it should be. Then equipped equals true. And then we want to <coughs> uh equip the sword. So what we're going to do is go inside the character and go into the humanoid. Now there's this new function I uh I learned today. Uh it's called e equip uh, equipped uh, tool yeah I think that's it yeah equip tool and then so we're going to uh, be equipped the tool in the humanoid and then we access so we find the tool so we go uh, we stored it in starter pack but we would go player dot player dot backpack because in uh 
it's it wouldn't be starter pack because inside the player there's something called bat. Like everything inside of starter pack gets replicated to the player uh, whenever the server starts. Backpack dot. Uh, let's do wait for child, and then linked linked sword sword. All right. Okay, why did oh yeah okay it's adding that parentheses because we need another parentheses don't forget about that all right now if you guys get any errors whatsoever leave it in the description um not description the comment section okay uh so um let's see what else I could think so uh just gotta check my headphone for batteries. I mean, to see if it needs to be charged. But if equipment is equal to false, then equipment is true. We equipped it. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna add an else. Uh, so else, so it else is saying if it is true, then we make equipped equal false. Whoa. False. Uh, and then there's uh, then we do char dot humanoid. Void. Uh, un e. I think I spelled this right. Un equip. Uh, e. Can't spell this. Unequipped. Unequip all. Wait. Unequip tools. That's it. Tools. I think I spelled that right. And yeah. So let's let's uh. Now let's make another if statement. So copy this. Paste. Now we change this to two. Now, I don't know how many weapons you guys are gonna have, but since I have two weapons uh, so far, uh, I'm just gonna be doing two if statements. Now, if you guys have like three, then you know you would paste and then change this to three, you know, and then just move along how I'm doing with uh, this second one. And then all you gotta do is change it to the sword name, and it's that simple. So Azure, yeah, sword. All right. Ochre, ochre, ochre. Uh, oh yeah, all this stuff is popping up because my connection is off at the moment. Oh, and also, oh, I don't know why it's letting me be able to test either. I don't know why it's letting me test. My connection's off, but hmm. See if I can. Hmm. That's so weird. Um. Hold on. I would want to cut this out in the tutorial, but it's all good. I'm not a professional YouTuber. If I was, I would definitely cut that part out. What would just happen? Okay, so I'm gonna clear all this. Now I'm restarting my internet. Anyways, I'm glad it didn't kick me out of studio. <laughs> I don't want to have to redo this. Okay, so um, what was I forgetting? Oh, and also another thing what we can do is select the tools and make sure it can be dropped is false because we don't want the tools to be able to be dropped. You know, you know, you know. Okay. Um, another thing what I would want to do is um, there's something called set core GUI enabled. Uh, to do this, uh, I'm gonna show you what it does. So game dot starter GUI set core GUI enabled, and then we get backpack and set it to false. So what this does is it goes in game dot starter GUI. Um, if you're wondering why it uh, it doesn't do game dot player GUI, uh, that wouldn't make sense. If if just if you were wondering. Because uh, there's nothing called player GUI, it's just saying. So, game that started GUI. Da, uh, and then there's this function set core GUI enable. So, and uh, the first parameter is backpack. This is saying what you want to disable. Well, false means disable, true, mean, true means enable. But as you can see, I'm disabling something. I'm disabling backpack, which backpack is. Like whenever you okay, so there's at the top an icon right here, the backpack. See, I uh, probably made an error. This is the backpack. 
So I want to disable that. Now let's see what kind of error we got. Okay, first off, we're getting Char is not a valid member of player. That's one of the errors. Okay, yeah, yeah. That character. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Character. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Um, that's why uh, I wasn't where why everything wasn't working probably earlier. Uh, let's see if we got anything else. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, okay, it worked now. All right. As you can see, uh, the the code is not working because of internet connection. So let's see what I can if I can enable this right quick. See, I'd be cutting this part out if I was professional. It would save upload time. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my connection. Okay. Uh, but for those of you that uh, are wondering or have been wondering about my mic quality, well, my mic quality is pretty bad on my headset. So I have ordered me a new mic which is coming in tomorrow and this weekend I will not be making any videos because I'm going to my dad's. Uh so sadly yeah. Alright, I am getting a good bit of lag, but let's see my internet should be on now. Oh gosh. My internet is so slow. Alright, cool. So I press one, here we go. I press one again. Unequips. I press two. Wow! Look at that. Look at that. So, if I go press one, then I press two. It's gonna unequip, which I think is pretty cool. But, and then yeah. And then you know I have my running animation. Now, if if you're making a game like this with uh tools where you press one and stuff like a custom backpack. I'd be sure I'm having a good bit of lag because my connection and computer processor. But uh, if you want, I think this running animation looks pretty cool. If you want to learn how to make a running animation, uh, go check that out. Uh, I just made the tutorial like yesterday, I believe. Uh, so go check that out. But anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.